in life if you have goals they have a price tag that includes <laughs> pain hard work resilience approach. this is a sure way to mess yourself up <laughs> you complain about everything in life because you're doing everything hard once your intelligence is turned against you no power in the universe can save you that's all i do a lot of people shy away from stress because i uh, <laughs> from on an on an individual level up until i am alive i want to achieve goals uh, and it will come with a lot of stress and pain and then i can rest when i'm below because i'll spend more time in the grave than i will outside the grave do you think this is the right mentality or what is your comments on oh, this approach this is a sure way to mess yourself up <laughs> This is a… this is a serious mistake a whole generations of people have done that if you study, how should you study? Hard, you must study hard. If you work, how should you work? You must work hard. Why didn't they tell you, you must study joyfully? Why didn't they tell you, you must work lovingly? No, you must do everything hard and then you complain. You complain about everything in life because you're doing everything hard. There is substantial medical and scientific evidence to show you, only when you're in pleasant states of experience, does your body and your brain work at their best. Is that important for you to perform any activity in life well, that your body and your brains are working well? Hello? Is it important? Tell me if you're stressed and anxious, does your body and brains work at their best? Our body can get immune to it and that is how, you know, like in the gym when I stress my muscle, it grows when it breaks. So like that, we can also get ourselves immune. No, even immune. if you joyfully run, climb a mountain, play a game, still muscle will get well. Hello? <laughs> so under stress, it would get better, it would break and then it will build no, better together. No, no, no. See, stress means you're always finding more and more exotic words for this. Somebody says stress, somebody says tension, somebody says anxiety and goes further, all right? There are many, many names. There are some seventy-two, seventy-four different kinds of mental ailments so today that they've identified. Lots of exotic names. Essentially, it's just this. Your intelligence has turned against you. Once your intelligence has turned against you, no power in the universe can save you, that's all. If your intelligence was working for you, would you keep this blissful or stressful? Please tell me. You make your choice, I'm going to bless you right now <laughs> If your intelligence was functioning for you, what is your choice for yourself? Blissfulness or stressfulness? What you want for your neighbor? Maybe debatable. You know, we are neighbors elsewhere.